All right, I've returned. <sighs> the cats are doing all right, Retzors. When you were a child, you thought mustaches were just nose hairs. They sort of are. I think there's something to that. Thoughts on calipers? You think it would be good here. Somebody's just trying to get the bingo. Melter deals more damage. I was gonna fight a super elite really early this act. Might have to take Melter. Toby, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Agbomo show to you as well. Transform a card. It's got to be defend, I think. Into streamline. Interesting. I'm not going to go so far as to say good. Eat the Mata. Is Melter any good? Is a so so damage card? Thanks for the four months, the Mata. Bo lightning. Bo lightning. Bo lightning. Bo lightning. We sort of have a lot of damage all of a sudden. I don't know that I need to buy a poison potion. I'm also not that excited about spending 52 gold for a cool headed. And I'm pretty sure I actively do not want another ball lightning. I guess I could just buy a cool headed. Usually you want cool headed to be a good card in a defect deck, right? The problem is that like at the start of the run it isn't a good card yet, but yeah. We'll work it out. Why is it I usually wait to fight the Flaming Elite until Act 3? What? It's a very bizarre <laughs> time to ask me that question. Try to fight the Super Elite at the time that it seems best, which is sometimes in Act 3 and sometimes in the other two acts. Last run I fought her in Act 2, this run I'm fighting in an Act 1. I don't know. Kunai! And we'll skip this stuff. 27 health, so we'd better rest. Kunai Sundial. The Compile Driver looks like a better card than Melter right about now. Does kunai mean claw deck? No, it's like a sort of weapon, I think. What is a kunai? Kunai. Wikipedia. Kunai is a Japanese tool 
Thought to be originally derived from the defect card claw in the popular video game Slay the Spire. Oh. Okay, Pocket Watch is really good. We just need cards to actually play when we draw them. That's what we're currently missing. I'm gonna take a Sweeping Beam. Does getting a Kunai mean building a Claw Deck? Nope. I know what, like, was meant, but... I don't know. Didn't seem like a question that needed a sensible response. FTL is awkward with Pocket Watch, but good with Kunai. What do I do? I take FTL. I, think I go die to Hexaghost. We'll see. We'll see. <sighs> Fuck. I have to buy capacitor? I hope not. I really hope I don't. Maybe I did. Maybe I had to buy Capacitor Barrage or something. So Thorn Pot is enough. Yep. That's the plan. I have decent relics. To be honest. Okay. We need Thorn Potion. 32 health. Full blocking this turn. I have one dexterity already. My next hand is that. I think we're good. The big mistake was resting. Oh, well, there you go. This game is so violent. It's senseless violence, too. That's the point of it all. Only 2.5% of players have the achievement for beating Ascension 20. Yeah, but about 92% of the accounts for this game are just my smurfs that I use to find seeds for the runs that I play on stream, so. Throws the numbers off a little bit. I will have all three of these, I guess. How do you pick all three? I don't remember the command. It's been a while since I played.
The skip button picks all three. Uh -huh. Let's go electrodynamics, I think. Fuck. Over biased cog? Fuck. Fuck. I'm taking biased cog. And eternal feather? Also fuck. Fuck. The first time in like five runs that I've low rolled for the act one boss reward, I think. Do your bots also look for bad seeds so you can pretend to lose every now and then in order to throw off our trail? Yes, that's correct, again. Fuck. They're all so shitty. I guess Defect has access to like self-repair and stuff. We'll hope that we can pull that off. We don't have it right now, so, you know. <sighs> Jasmanian, thanks for the six months. Long Bomo show to you as well. I forgot I had Melter. I should only have played three cards on turn one there. This seems like a deck where Hologram's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, well. Only minus 20 health for this floor, I guess. I think I have to take the curse. Rip. Curse is probably even worse than minus 20 health. Glacier capacitor, yes. Self repair. Wait. Wait, there's no self repair. What's going on? That's not good. Best defense is a good offense. Is that true? Is that like a Yogi Berra quote? I don't think it's true. Two glaciers. Sun Tzu said that, like in English? Really? Didn't know that.
Sun Tzu or Yogi Berra or Twitch chat. You deal 9,999 damage to an enemy turn one. Why would you need defend? To, def to not die when the enemy attacked you? <laughs> this seems like the super, super simple answer. Well, after you do that, the enemy will attack you. Die. Hmm. But it's not fair! The enemy should die when I deal it 10,000 damage. Jorbs, why isn't the game fair? Uh, ouch. Last cock seems okay, yeah. Sick. It's good. I think Slay the Spire would work with Overload from Hearthstone. Uh, probably. There are lots of, um... Lots of ways that doing something this turn can change what you get to do next turn and slay the spire, though, I would say. Already. We like hologram because it makes us play FTL more and we have a kunai, I think. I think that's why we like hologram. I'm pretty sure we like hologram for some reason. We also like reinforced body because it lets sundial proc. But we have two glaciers. I don't like reinforced body that much. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're back in business. Hey, that's really good as well. That's my opinion of Hearthstone. I think it's a like card game online, right? That hit really hard. I played one card more than I should have. And now I will suffer the consequences of my iniquity. Question mark. Will the devs ban me from the game when I easily go infinite my first time playing the new character? I don't think so. Claw, cold snap, beam cell. This deck could run a claw. Also not run a claw. Doesn't really have scaling damage, does it? 
And it has two holograms and a kunai. Could go either way. We know anything about the fourth character, just the stuff that's been announced. Uh, it's a playable jaw worm. Play it mostly using microtransactions. That was my biggest achievement as a poker player, stopping playing poker. Uh, I don't know. What's my biggest achievement as a streamer? Probably something sort of comparable to that, whatever it is. Being good at poker? Is that it? Maybe being good at poker? That seemed like an achievement, right? Graparian! Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime! Agbomu show to you as well. Uh, three cards or a dex? Take a dex. streaming. I have a human life. Do human things. For example, I enjoy being human and associating with other humans. I do all the normal human things like eating food, Uh, enjoying sports ball and other recreational activities. Welcome, Shogun. You buy a cog now? Probably, right? Do I ever watch being human? Why would I need to do that? I already know how to be human from my immense experience as a human.
real human being and a real human It's stretch. Law well, does it get picked often by good players? Being picked once in this run. It's an all for one. I probably like that card. Right? It's probably okay. On the snack eye, work more out later. Cool. So we have two glaciers and all for one. I need like an echo form or something, probably. This game is so easy. How has anybody ever lost a run of Slay the Spire? I don't understand. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Transform a card. I will transform one... Law? Is Claw bad now that I have a Sneko Eye? Maybe. Doesn't seem very good. The problem with transforming Bites is that you get colorless cards, right? And if we're not transforming Bites, I don't really want to transform my Defense with a Kunai. I guess we're transforming Claw. Transform a Ball Lightning or Zap. This zaps worse than ball lightning. FTL's mediocre. I think FTL's a lot better than Claw is. FTL draws us a card sometimes. Also deals more damage. Does Madness override Sneko? For a second. A brief respite from the madness of the eye. Let me know if the sun fucks up my green screen. I won't fix it, I'll just express that I'm irritated. The Sorrow. One, two, three. Thank you for 14 months sub. Dog Bomo show to you as well. Another 109. And you will be subbed for 123 months. FTL is infinite with any card that reduces the number of cards you've played that turn. That, yeah, I that. That's how it works. Like another all for one, I guess. Bias Cog, Defrag, Capacitor. What about just Capacitor? 
I have two focus potions as well. A capacitor. Another claw. Didn't I just remove my claw? I'm pretty sure I just removed my claw. Mm. I have to bite so many times now. And I can't even bite because the lightning orb is going to kill them both. This is immensely rude. I removed Zap Claw still in the deck. Fair enough. Fair enough. Smin. It's for the seven months. Bomo show. YouTube. And a real human. Real human being. Charge battery is pretty good. Holograms are right. Human being. Hmm. I only have one all for one. Hologram's not that good, honestly. The problem with Hologram is a lot of this deck is playing the powers, and if, like, Capacitor shows up on three, Hologram is not helping us with that. I'm gonna have two Madness, two All for One, and two Hologram. Yeah, although we live in an even better world where I don't have that, so that's cool. Lucky us. Also take the uh, Go for the Eyes. Weakening things is a pretty strong thing to be able to do. All right. That's fucking rude. It's fine, we just bite back to full health again. This song's completely stuck in my head now. Where's that song even from? Real human being song. College electric youth. A real hero drive original movie. What? College and electric youth. A real hero. Drive original movie. It was in Drive? Drive was a good movie. Released January 2010. Wait, no, I'm thinking of Baby Driver. Was Drive the one with, uh, what's his face? The android? Ryan Gosling, that's the one. I'm not sure that Drive was a uh, 
was a good movie. Alright, we need an auto-resolve button. I've been playing a little bit of second to second off stream. Not a ton, but a tiny bit. I don't like it enough to actually play it on stream. I've been playing on the lowest difficulty rate. The first three end of act bosses I encountered, the game auto-resolved the combat because the bosses determined that they couldn't win and they just fell over and died. Which is like... I guess that's a pretty cool mechanic to add to the game for like your hardcore players who are playing the game a lot or something, but it doesn't seem like a very good mechanic to have enabled for somebody playing the game for the first time who wants to like find out what the fights are and stuff, you know? Anyway. That's my hot take on that one. How many burns do I have right now? Oh, I've been stockpiling burns since I was a young child. If you were a boat, you would ram into other boats repeatedly. I guess joking about sex isn't as funny if you've actually had it before. I actually deployed that one in my youth. That was a good one. <sighs> Best of defense is lots of defense. Looks like it. Get cool headed plus. A sharp pain flows through you, followed by vivid flashes of a distant memory. Whose memories are these? They were mine the entire time. Probably meant to take Panacea for the biased cog. Probably. And then like, I don't know. We could take Hand of Greed, it's fine. Does Metamorphosis override Snekoi? I don't remember. I've never actually played it. It still seems like it would be bad. Hey, Sessions! Isn't Finesse really good in a Snekoi deck? I will leave you to work that out on your own. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna recall here so that I can perhaps upgrade a defrag or something like that. If I get something like that in the latter half of this act. Like I just died a Reptomancer though. That's fair, that's good too. All things in balance. Especially dying to Reptomancer. We're shocked we didn't take Hand of Greed. It was like okay, but not super great. Hmm. 
Am I always playing Glacier? No. But that time I am. The best defense is dying to Reptomancer. Accurate. Best defense is just not watching the Mariners. <laughs> Have any of you heard of baseball? <laughs> man. Here in Seattle we have a baseball team. Um, I believe it was last season. Last season, Seattle's baseball team, the Seattle Baseballs is their official name, although a lot of people call them Seattle Mariners. They were like leading the division or something, doing really well, lots of wins, all this crap. But they had an absolutely atrocious run differential. So like they kept on winning a game by one run and then losing a game by like six runs. Calipers would be good here. Calipers would be good here. Can't take that away from you. And I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and I was like, well actually he was like, yeah, the Mariners are so good this season. It's been so exciting following baseball. And I was like, you know, they're actually terrible and they're just getting really, really lucky, right? And he was like, no, they just, they understand how to play in clutch situations. And we didn't quite like come to blows or anything, but we definitely had a conversation where we definitely disagreed about what was going on with the Seattle Mariners uh like like no no they're they're just shit and they've gotten lucky was my stance my friend's stance was that's a depressing way to look at it I want to think they're good and then they like placed last in the division or whatever because uh you know they were shit anyway good story hologram plus claw plus cool headed plus Hey, Sophia. You see the sun? Another story where Jorbs was the hero all along. What stories have I been the villain in recently? I'm sure there have been some. I forgot to pay at a restaurant. I didn't get very far. Got about like five steps and they were like, hey, are you gonna pay? And I was, oh. But yeah, I mean. That was a thing. <laughs> Core, thanks for the five months. Ogbomo show to you as well. I forgot to pay. Hi there. I'm interested in your food. Would you be willing to let me eat it for free if I tweeted about your restaurant? You might not recognize me, but I'm Jorbs, famous streamer with upwards of 1,000 Twitter followers. It's 
It's either cool headed or hologram, or possibly skip. I don't know. They all seem very like, eh. They're not really the cards that we need to win, but also they're sort of all right. Hologram's good because sometimes all for one costs zero. That's a huge amount of its value. Also, sometimes there's like a glacier that costs zero. But the problem with hologram is that sometimes you haven't drawn glacier yet, and then you just get a shitty hologram and doesn't do anything. Cool headed's like okay. Drawing two cards is definitely okay. Sure, we'll take a cool headed. One calipers from Shovel. If we had a calipers, um, if we had a calipers, the hologram would be quite a lot better. Orbs win. Have I ever passed a cool-headed? The sun is messing with my green screen. The problem is if I close my window. Here's what we're gonna do. If I close my window, it'll get very, very hot in this room very, very quickly. That. Hopefully this will be a happy medium. Alright. Got anything that casts zero in there? We sure do. Is Alec, congrats on 100% for Baba's you. That's awesome. Sigurd, Sigurd, son. Thanks for the seven months. I'm show to you as well. My house is no longer invisible. Uh, I'm not even sure where to start with that one. a whole piping system for my AC because of this reason. I don't have the AC turned on right now. Air conditioning is excellent at making it cooler. But I am not personally convinced that making it hotter to transfer heat make it cooler is a great long-term solution. I think if you do the math like all the way through, yeah. Mm. Is there a reason we aren't playing ball lightning? Uh, if we played ball lightning, we would lose the fight, obviously. You see, is really good at heating the outside. Yeah, fuck the outside. So you're saying we should use AC in the winter? Uh... Hmm. <laughs> okay. That's up worth up there with the invisible house comment, I think. Yeah, but you could also just live somewhere that's temperate and not use AC, especially when you don't really need to once upon a coin. I don't know if that's like too revolutionary of an idea. Maybe we're not ready for that one yet. 
but uh hmm. Just move. No, I'm saying that it's fucking 70 degrees, so I don't want to turn my AC on. Oh my fucking god. How hard is it? How hard is it to communicate this to people? Uh, I'm gonna take the recycle. Recycle's pretty sweet. I'm gonna dig. Dig twice. Alright, this is a pretty sexy turn one. Keeping beam costs zero. Atlanta folk. I think we won. Pretty sure we won. Good fight. All right. Well, that uh, snake lady thing died pretty fast. Two upgrades for the price of one. This cost zero. I should have played this twice. Fuck. Uh, one of these seems good. Once that's in play, this is pretty good. Huh. FTL didn't draw us a card. I can't explain that. Okay. Frag plus, yep. This is correct. The orbs wins. I have an auto resolve button. You know what I need? I need like a Twitch chat plays the cards mod, and I could just set that up and like go for a walk during these fights. Where's Capacitor? Oh, might have been Capacitor, that sounds about right.
quick shot would find a way to die. Yeah, but one way or another, the fight would be over. Show to you as well, thanks for the four months. Please recycle all of the attacks. I'm on it. That might exhaust all cards, and then I could return and never be helped win or lose again. That's terrifying. That is quite terrifying. I wonder if it's prophetic. It might be. the first boss? Yes. Okay. Time Eater as well. Time Eater shouldn't be too bad. Play one of these. Just keep the Art of War energy for next turn. How excited am I for the fourth character? I am looking forward to some new Slay the Spire content. I tend to reserve excitement for after I've actually played something, though. On release of the fourth character, I should do an Until Ascension 20 stream with him, where I stream till I beat Ascension 20 on him for the first time. Alright, Darlays, number one, let's not assume the gender of the fourth character. The fourth character could be a he, could be a number of other things too. Number two, I'm just gonna unlock Ascension 20 uh, immediately and just play on Ascension 20. Like, fuck, um... <laughs> Fuck the other difficulties, honestly. Defeats the purpose of excitement to reserve it. I guess I'm just a hollow shell of a human or something. After a thousand hours on PC, you bought Slay the Spire on Switch, playing it while shitting, it's even better. Why don't you just put your PC in the bathroom like a normal person?
Jorbs is really in the bathroom. It's pretty normal to record content from the bathroom. You just get better acoustics, yeah. I need to put a lightning orb in my orb thing so I can press E and just uh, talk with Twitch chat. There we go. All right, cool. How's everybody doing? Twitch chat. It's been a little while. How's the love life? How are things with that one person that I expressed that I thought might be good with you? Going well, going well. Wonderful. Can I please put two... What is love? My grandmother, my mother's mother, had this thing where uh, she told me if I was ever into anyone, I had to bring them home to her so she could like approve of them. And it became very, very rapidly apparent to me as I like became a teenager and started dating and stuff that this was just because she wanted to like meet the girls I was dating and get really excited about my life. It was like actually adorable. Because the stereotype is like, uh, the stereotype with like meeting the family is the very like possessive father sort of thing, right? Which is a pretty toxic stereotype, but uh, I feel like some people can relate in some way to that. And I just did not, uh, did not have that at all. I had the like bubbly, very excited grandmother. We wanted to like organize knitting projects. Moving today just got past the awful part, almost done. That's good. After five years together, we broke up. With breakups, I think the two important things for breakups for me are. You still spent all that time together, and all the happiness that you had together while it was good it was real happiness. Hopefully the relationship wasn't so bad that you can't look at that and be happy about it. And also, after you do break up, all of a sudden you've got a surplus of you, because you used to have something big and important in your life and it's gone and it's going to be sad and you're going to do the morning stuff for that and everything. But also all of a sudden you have so much space and potential to, to fill with things that you love. So yeah, it's a shitty thing, but... It's not just a shitty thing. You've never dated anybody. Hmm. I think that like, the goal is generally just to live a happy and fulfilling life. You don't have to date people to do that. In fact, I think some people think that dating people is how you achieve that and don't realize that there's a lot of other stuff that goes into it too. All right, back to the video game. Could get rid of dual cast, could get rid of claw, could get rid of a bite. You're welcome, Javi. Um. Sort of dual cast, I think. 
Mummified hand makes like heat sinks a little bit interesting. It's a little bit interesting. This fight should be fast enough that I just get to biased cog now, right? Must be. Biased Cog and Glacier. Let's do this because I'd like to all for one as well, but I need Biased Cog to hit either Glacier or all for one for that to happen. Okay. Is our damage scale fast enough for the heart? Be fine. We'll work it out. That sucked. So I still haven't drawn Thingamajig. The one that gives two artifact charges. Exactly 57 block. One of the artifact charges is stopping a focus down. Well, I guess this might be a focus down. So I guess they're both stopping a focus down, maybe. Sort of. A little bit. Legos, thanks for the five months. Hongbumu show to you as well. Crusel. Panacea is ancient Greek and means cure all. Today's fact of knowledge is brought to you by Panacea Weekly. Why have Panacea daily when you can have it weekly? Almost full health. Sure, that's fine. Uh, yeah, fruit juice is not worth here. Loop plus is really nice. Okay. 
Is the plan here to have strengthened decks by the time we no longer have focus? Well, we have a panacea, so we shouldn't ever not have focus anymore. One, two. Three. And Panacea next time. <laughs> uh. Uh, Look at that 79 damage turn one. The heart was, of course, vulnerable. Oh, this fucking sucks. Are we just, like, dead? That would be unpleasant. <sighs> We're okay, right? I have to do the math because I might not be able to play like all the powers. This is 73 right now. Fuck, it's pretty close. Now it's 77, 25, 73. And I'm not going to play the bite because I want the Art of War. Thank you for that 10 months, Twit1. Did I say that already? I don't know. Uh, Glacier costs one in there. Fine. Do I even need Glacier? What else would I got? I could just get all for one twice. That seems better, right? So all for one is five cards. One, two, three, four, five. said hologram. Sick. Curiously, I ran out of block already. Doing okay though. Can this be infinite with mummified? No, mummified only makes something cost zero once. Seems like it should work that way, but it does not. seemed fair.
Good night, sweetheart. Somebody already called calipers. I think so. I think on floor one or something of this run, we called calipers. little piggies. Remember when I didn't have any health? I remember when I didn't have any health. Alright, good run. That was actually uh, pretty damn close at the end there. But we made it. <laughs> Did the last minute loot plus save the day? I think we won without it. Definitely helped though. Dripper Act 1. Yep. We hit the bites. We need to hit like bite or bird face turn or self repair. 